So I got one of these little MFJ 9232 tuners. And uh, I'm gonna try to do some stuff on this uh, hula hoop loop. But you know, that's what everybody else has. That's not a loop. This is a loop. I've actually, uh, if you see my other video, I tuned 40 and 80 on that. 80 was a surprise. It does get out. Because I saw myself on the reverse beacon network. <clears throat> More later. I'm on the smaller loop. See what my power is. Okay, five watts. Get the time on there. 1908. UTC. Got it. Five five. He's really a three four, but I'm not getting stuff out. All right. <laughs> I got a soda. I think that guy's in Colorado. That's on the smaller loop. I barely can hear him, but he heard me pretty good. That's the first contact on that. That small loop, the hula hoop. The big loop, all I've gotten is some reverse return, uh, reverse beacon network returns, uh, a few of them. How about that? Oh, I gotta put that in the log. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna be doing that frequency on the big loop there. The little ones for 20, the big ones for 40 and 80. I didn't know it would work on 80, but it does. It's about lunchtime. And, uh, oh, by the way, if you ever see these at Ace Hardware, they're great for tying up your little wires and slim antennas and stuff. They have all different sizes, so you can tie up coax with the bigger ones. They're a little pricey, but you probably won't lose them as easy as, you know, these stupid little things. And also, uh, these little clip-on earphones. They fit in that tiny little bag that you buy in Millicraft very well. Okay, I'm gonna get with it. Here.
USB. wasn't the kind of cue I wanted for the first time. It's like he could hear me better than I could hear him. Hmm, he's gone. Well... Wow. 